my name is Madison and welcome back to my channel. We are about to head out for Rebecca Farm and when I say about to, it is 8.12 on Friday the 12th that I'm filming this and I need to be at the barn at 3.30 a.m. So in like seven hours, <laughs> I am sitting down to finalize my packing and I thought I would walk through everything that I'm bringing for one of the biggest horse shows I've ever been to. Either way, without further ado, let's just get started. Alrighty, the very first things I would start off with, I thought, let's just walk through breeches. That's like literally what I'm sitting on right now. Um, I'm bringing five pairs of white breeches and three pairs of not white breeches. I can't believe I have that many pairs of white breeches at this point, but I guess that makes sense. I do a lot of horse showing. As far as schooling breeches go, I've got a pair of my gray godos, um, my tan romps, and then my tan carrots affinity full seat breeches. These are probably three of my favorite schooling breeches. I don't love my romps as much. They have a Velcro bottom, um, not a sock bottom, but especially when I go to shows, I do not like to school in colored breeches. I think you look a lot classier most of the time if you have a colored top and a neutral bottom or vice versa, as opposed to color on color. And I am somebody that just tends to gravitate towards owning a lot of colored tops. And because I have a lot of colored tops, I naturally decide to bring more neutral colored bottoms. So I've got these three for schooling. Um, I also have my white carrots affinity knee patch breeches and then my white carrots crossovers. Y'all, I don't know how these have held up so well. These were the first pair of white breeches I ever bought. They're a size extra small. Um, I bought them when I was in like eighth grade and they still fit. And I literally showed them like six days ago. So um, one of these I'm sure will end up being my dressage breeches, most likely the affinities. And then for cross country and show jumping, I have three pairs of my Carrots Grip Tech breeches. I absolutely love these. I have a fourth pair floating around somewhere because one of these, this pair right here is branded with the Carrots logo. So I will likely not be competing in these, but they're a great backup pair or a great schooling pair. Um, I love Carrots. We have no bad blood. Y'all know that I used to work with them fairly heavily um, and we no longer work together as much so I don't intend to advertise myself as a carrots rider, at least when I'm showing, by wearing carrots branded things because I'm no longer affiliated with them as a rider. Um, like I said, no bad blood. I still wear their stuff all the time. I will still continue to promote them. I, again, love them as a company, but I no longer compete with their logo plastered on my thigh because I don't ride for them anymore. Um, let's see here, what else do we got? Um, as far as show shirts go, I have these two show shirts right here. I might bring a third one. I don't know. Show shirts just like aren't normally my thing, at least like white show shirt shirts. So this one here is from G Lifestyle. I have no idea where this shirt came from, honestly. I'm pretty sure my mom bought me the shirt at many, many years ago at TJ Maxx in like the golf section. But it's this really cute white, I'm um, sure it literally feels exactly like the Dover Cool Blast shirts where you've got this really nice stretchy material, the mesh underneath the arms, and then the top has this really cute little frilly button bit there. Um, I think this looks so cute. If you don't wanna wear a stock tie, I love how light it is. Um, yeah, so I will most likely end up wearing that for show jumping, I would assume. Um, and then I have this carrots, is this also an affinity? I don't remember what the name of this show shirt is. Don't fire me, please. Um, but I love this carrot show shirt. This is a long sleeve shirt in white and this like slate blue color. Um, it's got all of these little mesh patches. Sorry, you cannot see. I don't know if you can tell my ring light is on the ground right now. Just ignore that. <laughs> um, but I love just how light and breathable this shirt is and it, also looks super cute if you are done showing for the day and you just wear it around because it's got all these fun blue patches. I don't worry about you seeing my bra through quite as much because you can't because there's so much color. So I love this. Um, this is especially great if you're gonna put a stock tie over it just because um, there's no like detail on the neck part there. As far as schooling shirts go, um, I have a handful here. Um, so I've got 
I'm just so excited. I feel like every time I talk about Finstar, I just like smile. Um, I've mentioned this a dozen times before, but I'm so excited to be working with Finstar Equestrian, which is a local company based out of Boulder that one of my friends and her mom actually started. And they make, I kid you not, like the best riding shirts I've ever worn. Um, their family actually owns a very well-known bike jersey company and decided to turn that into a little equestrian offshoot. So there's so much heritage in the technical aspects of these shirts. So I have a green one, a navy one, and a pink one. These are from their traditional collection. And they have these adorable little stripes down the arm, as y'all can see. So the navy has pink and white, the pink has navy and white, and then the green has navy and white stripes. Um, I also have my last name on the left sleeve of all of them. Either way, I'm so excited to be bringing these as my schooling shirts and then also get a ton of cool content in them. And I mentioned this in a previous video. I think, I don't know the exact order that everything is going up, but I did make a few of my own custom shirts with them. Um, so I have my own custom cross country shirt here. It's a lavender color with black and white stripes on the arms. So I'm gonna be competing in this on cross country day. Um, I've got my logo gear shirt here. Um, so I've got my little shooting star logo on the left chest and then we've got the three colored stripes of my logo down the sleeve. This will be a great schooling shirt. Go take some photos in the canola fields. I will likely wear this with probably tan breeches or my gray godos, I don't know. And then my little mystery shirt that I've plugged a little bit before. Y'all won't get to see this until it's officially released and out there with the world, um, but I'm excited. I came out with a third shirt with them that all these shirts at some point in time will be releasing on their website. And I feel like this third one, it deserves a little bit more attention and a little bit more of an unveiling for the release of the shirt, just given the significance that the shirt has to me and so many other people in the equestrian community. So there is that. Um, as far as belts go, I've got three main belts that I'm bringing. I've got this one right here, which is my tailored sportsman quilted leather sea belt. Um, I've got it in this brown color and my black one is somewhere. I'm gonna find it before I go. Probably on the floor of my bathroom or in my car. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love these belts. These are the only thing I ever school in. Um, oh, I cannot say enough good things. I guess I can say one bag thing. The smallest size they make is a size small and I'm small, but I'm not tiny. Like I got some meat on my bones. I got some little curvy bits. And when I tell you that I have to punch an extra hole at the end of all of these, like you can see how nice and even these ones look and then I punch that hole with a knife. Um, like over an inch away from the most close hole. And this is the smallest size that they make. I'm like, how do people that are smaller than me wear these belts and it's not a huge deal that i have to punch holes but it is a huge deal that i have 10 inches of leather flapping against my side when i ride so food for thought i think that's my biggest complaint about the tailored sportsman belts but other than that i absolutely love them they look so classy they fit so well otherwise um they're super super easy to clean wash they match everything there's that so i'm bringing my tan one and then my black one when i find it and then y'all have seen my prize possession. This is my Boy Boy Bridal Works custom belt. Um, so Penelope and I have matching brow bands and belts. So I have this one here and then she has a brow band of the exact same colors with the same exact quilting pattern that I use for cross country and show jumping. So these are the same three colors as my logo um, here. Woo. So. Um, if you have not heard of Boy Boy Bridal Works, they are a small um, business. Also a one woman show, which rocks based out of, I think Middleburg, Virginia, somewhere in Virginia. And she makes a ton of custom equestrian gear and things for dogs as well. So you can get hats with the custom braiding on it, a ton of different styles of belts, lanyards, bracelets, keychains, brow bands, dog collars, leashes, so much more. Um, I 
first found the company in 2017 at the Pony Club National Championships in Kentucky and have been a huge fan ever since. So um, I'm excited to use this belt one more time, as always. Um, a few other random schooling things. I'm just gonna bring my backup cross country shirt. This is my tailored sportsman ice fill shirt in my favorite purple color. I tried to sort of mimic this color with the cross country shirts that I made and I'd say I did a pretty damn good job, which is awesome. Um, but uh, this will be just a good backup schooling shirt or cross country show shirt. And then I also have um, this green Lululemon long sleeve. This is the Swiftly Tech top from Lululemon. Um, again, I really try whenever I ride to keep my branding sort of on point. So the green matches the colors of my logo. So, um, Okay, last few things here. I thought I would show y'all my favorite sports bras, which I don't know if that's weird, but I feel like the majority of my audience is female and the majority of equestrians in general are also female. So maybe that's not super weird. Um, the first ones I'll show you here are the Invital bras from Lululemon. These are my absolute favorite sports bras to ride in. They make a BC cup and then a D double D cup. And it's just a simple V-neck sports bra that crosses in the back. There's not a ton going on and I love that. It's just simple, it's comfortable, it lays flat. Um, no bits, bobs, extra little whatevers. Um, just super comfy, so I have a black one. And then I also have a royal blue and this sort of like purpley color here. And then I also have a black Lululemon sports bra. This I believe is a free to be elevated bra and another great one, especially if you are a larger chested girl that really needs a lot of support and coverage. I'm somebody that does my entire dressage test sitting trot, which is optional at the lower levels. And so I really need a lot of support, like I said, when I'm riding. Last few things here. Um, this is my Lululemon jacket. This is the, oh my gosh, I forget the name. I'll link it down below, but this is my absolutely, absolute favorite jacket to ride in if it's ever colder. Um, and it is supposed to be quite hot up in Montana this year, but it is Montana, so the mornings are quite cold. Um, so I'm excited to have this. It's just got a few little down aspects and then some neoprene bits as well. Um, so comfortable, just easy to wear. It's a little bit more cropped, so I'm not sitting on it when I'm riding. It sits right at my waistline or my hip, hip, waist, hip, hip, um, which I love. And it washes super well. So I literally washed this like two hours ago before I left. So um, this will be great for riding on those chilly mornings. And then I thought I would show you all the two show coats that I'm bringing. Um, this first one here is from Carrots, and this is just their brown show coat. I forget the exact shade that this is, but um, I have loved using brown on Penelope. I don't know why it's coming up so gray on camera, but this will be my dressage coat that I use. Um, I absolutely love this coat. I can't say enough good things. Um, and then I also have my Sam Shield coat for show jumping. This is, I don't know, it just says the Sam Shield premium line on it, but um, I got this from Olsen's Tack last year at Rebecca Farm and it is stunning. It's this red burgundy color with all these little perforated holes. Um, so it's super light and airy because the coat literally is like, almost mesh in some parts of it, um, but it f just fits so well. I love the little sparkly details. Um, the color just looks beautiful on Penelope and I think it is so classy. So that is it for today's video and everything that I'm bringing to Rebecca Farm. Um, I hope you all enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next time. Peace out, bye.